Hey guys, what's up? Arvin here now. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can make use of your PLDT Home Smart LTE Evolution and make it function like a Wi-Fi repeater by using your PC or using no more than your mobile phone. Watch this video. Oops, before moving on, let me ask you a question. What is a Wi-Fi repeater or Wi-Fi extender? To answer the question, in layman's term, it extends and repeats your internet connection. Seriously. Okay, for instance, for example, if you notice, let's say your router is located in your living room. Some, in some areas, and you will notice in some areas of your house, like let's say your kitchen, your bathroom, or let's say your bedroom, you are receiving a very weak signal coming from the router that is located in your living room. Now, in these cases, you can now make use of your PLDD Home Smart LTE Evolution FX, FX IDT to extend or you repeat your internet connection by using this process. Let me show you how. Okay, so first we need to remove the uh, SIM card and inside our PLDT uh, router. Then let's uh, put back the SIM card tray in. Then um, let's plug in the power adapter. Okay, and then let's turn on our unit. Okay, and then just give it a few seconds until most or until almost all the lights are on. Okay, so so we have this uh, this the word if the signal is uh, lighting or the, the the color of the signal is red, don't worry because we don't have um, SIM card inside the uh, SIM card tray. Now we need to press and hold the reset button on the side. Okay. And let's wait until all the lights are off. There you go. So now, um, the uh, router is in, in the uh, factory settings. Or it's in default settings, to be honest. Okay, now we needed a, uh, a LAN cable or an Ethernet cable. And we need to plug one side or the, the one end of the cable to our router. Okay, so let me just remove the rubber cover here. And let's plug the one end of the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port on the side of the router. Moving on to the other end. Okay, let's plug it in. To the Ethernet port of our computer or desktop or laptop. Okay, so as you can see here, I am connected to the Ethernet. And uh, just to verify, let's open up the terminal by typing in CMD, and then type in ipconfig or if if config, and then uh, this will tell us that we are connected to our Wi-Fi router with the uh, default gateway of 192.168.1.1 so let's open up our preferred browser and in the search bar okay let's type in 192.168.1.1 okay and it will be and we will be redirected to the GUI of our router that's a, a general user interface the default username is PLDT home Default password is PLDT Home. Now let's click on Login, and it will be asking me. It will be asking us to um, update the default password or the password. So let me type in PLDT Home One to make it simple, and click Apply. Okay, it will be asking me to save the password, but no, I'm not going to save it. As you can see, it's PLDT Home One. And just click on never. It's up to you. You can save it if you want to. 
Now let's type in again the username that's PLDT Home and the password is PLDT Home 1. And click on login. Okay, and again it will ask me to save. Not as you can see, okay, I am connected to the router and this, and it is sending up the default SSID. Now let's go to settings and let's change or let's update the Wi-Fi setup. First, we only need to change the SSID or what you see as on uh, what you see on your mobile phone as a, uh, for your Wi-Fi or your Wi-Fi name. Um, let's. Uh, now, you don't need to change anything. You can change the channel if you want to, but I would highly suggest not to touch anything. And of course, let's change the password. Okay. Now, I'm just going to make it simple. Okay. And then hit apply once um, done. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, let's wait for it. Okay, now once it's done, now let's go to the uh, LAN settings. Okay, one moment. Okay, and then let's look for the DHCP. And by default, it is enabled. Now we need, okay, that's a DHCP. Now we need to click on the drop down arrow and let's disable it and then click apply. Okay. Okay, so let's check our Wi-Fi. Okay, and there you have it. There's our SSID. Now let's try in the password. Okay. And let's try to connect. Okay, now it's connected. Okay, now let's find out if we have internet connection of it open up Google let's try to open up um, any website or let's say do let's do a speed test and there you have it that's the fastest that I have right now where I am located it's working okay so first we need to remove the uh, SIM card um, inside our PLDT uh, router. Then let's uh, put back the SIM card tray in. Then um, let's plug in the power adapter. Okay, and then let's turn on our unit. Okay, and just give it a few seconds until most or until almost all the lights are on. Okay, so so we have this uh, this the word if the signal is uh, lighting or the, the the color of the signal is red, don't worry because we don't have um, SIM card inside the uh, SIM card tray. Now we need to press and hold the reset button on the side. Okay, and let's wait until all the lights are off. There you go. So now. Um, the uh, router is in, in the uh, factory settings. Okay, so now all we need to do is wait for the uh, Wi-Fi um, LED to turn on green. Oh, there you go. Now, don't worry if the uh, signal LED light is red because we don't have any SIM card inside. So, let's wait for it. Okay, so now let me just uh, record so. my... Uh, desktop or on the screen now let's try to connect to the uh, default SSID of our PLDD router okay so now it's connected it is showing that we don't have any internet connection so let's try and open up our browser 
and type in 192.168.1.1 and it we will it will open up the uh, login interface or the UI or the user interface of PLDT for the username just type PLDT home okay, and for the password PLDT home and click on login now it will be asking you to change the default password for simplicity I use PLDT home 1 Okay, so you need to retype it's PLDT Home 1. Okay, let's click on Apply. Okay. Now we need to log in again. For the username again, it's PLDT Home. And the password is PLDT Home 1. Because we already changed the default password now we are now into the uh, user settings now let's go to the settings tab okay as you can see I am not connected to anything yet so let's go to settings let's go to Wi-Fi settings okay so here all I have to do now is just change the uh, SSID or the Wi-Fi name it's up to you whatever SSID or Wi-Fi name you want to use but in my case I'll just uh, uh, well, let's just try to think of uh, what type of uh, Wi-Fi or what kind of Wi-Fi name you're going to use since this is just a test um, okay. you may or may not change the uh, Wi-Fi password it's up to you but in my case I'll just leave it as it says PLDT home yeah and then click on apply Okay, so let's just wait for the uh, Wi-Fi LED light to turn on again. There you go. Now it's turned on. So it means it is transmitting um, Wi-Fi now, the uh, new SSID. So let's check. Okay, there, there you have it. And let's try to connect and type in password. Okay, so it's telling us that yes we don't have internet connection yet now let's try to log in 192.168.1.1 but on this case I was not able to do so after several attempts the thing is because I, if I, I forgot to turn off my mobile data because when I tried to log in or to access 192.168.1.1 it is routing me uh, the uh, the, the browser is thinking that I am trying to uh, access my mobile data um, access point but no so when I turn it off there you go yeah, then I turn off my mobile data and then tried tried logging in again or accessing the 192.168.1.1 and so I'm in now let's try and uh, Log in again using the PLDT home for the username and of course the PLDT home one. Okay, so now we're, we're here. Oh, we, let's go to settings tab again and then let's go to uh, LAN, LAN settings. And as you can see, and or look for DHCP, and then click disable. Now, okay. So just to inform you that once you disable the DHCP in your router, you will not be able to access 192.168.1.1.1.1 again, even if you connect directly to the router 
or if you try to change it on uh, via Wi-Fi, you may need to hard reset the router again. So now let's try to connect. Okay, so normally what you would do just like me, I will try and connect to the new Wi-Fi SSID and key in my new uh, password and but unfortunately right after doing all the changes you will not be able to connect like what is happening here I tried my best to do everything but this is what you are going to do in order to for you to connect to your Wi-Fi router okay now all you have to do now is just plug in the Ethernet or the LAN cable from your modem and then connect it on the uh, LAN port Okay, so let me just remove the cover here and then plug in the, um, the LAN port or the Ethernet. Now, as you can see, since there is um, internet connection or internet data or wireless connect, uh, internet data coming from the LAN, the green light shows on the uh, LAN, LAN, uh, LAN light. And check it out. Let's go to now it is connected. Okay. And the router allows me to connect. Let's try and see if everything works properly. Okay, let's uh, try and open up a website or Google perhaps. There you go. It's a good sign. Now let's try to do a speed test. Okay. 5.7. 5.2, 5.4. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. This is the best. This is uh, the, the fastest. The fastest speed that this area my place can offer me as of this time. That, that's good enough for me. At least now it's working. So there you have it. If you come this far, or at the very end of this video, I would assume that you are now able to use your Wi-Fi or PLDT Home Smart LTE FXID3 into a Wi-Fi repeater or a Wi-Fi extender. Okay, so just take note, which I forgot to mention in my video, that you also need to take consideration of the length of the Ethernet cable that you are going to use. Maximum length, as far as, I'm, as, far as, my, as, far as I understand it, or you may correct me if I'm wrong, the maximum length that you can use or efficiently use an Ethernet cable is 100 meters. Anything more than that, I believe there will be a problem. Okay, now, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button because even if you hit the dislike button, no worry, you will not be able to see it. Okay, now please also do consider subscribing to my channel. This will help me a lot and please share my video. Okay, so see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.